In this 3D Shoemaker video, I'm going to explain how the newly available shoe last outlines can be used to help with online shoe sizing. The shoe last outlines will be useful for both shoe businesses and individual shoemakers, including those 3D printing the entirety of the shoe. And for those using the 3D Shoemaker design software, I'll show how to create the shoe last outlines. Note that this video is a shortened version of the written blog post found on 3dshoemaker.com. I'll start by pointing out that shoe last outlines are distinctly different from the flattened insole patterns I introduced a while back. The insole pattern coincides with the last bottom edge, also known as the feather edge. Insole patterns are useful to shoemakers and perhaps can be useful in shoe sizing, but they don't tell the whole story. This is because the shoe last overhangs beyond the bottom edge both at the front and the back of the shoe last, and the degree of this overhang varies from one shoe last to another. The same can be said for heel and ball width. The shoe last outline, on the other hand, gives a more complete picture of the envelope into which the foot is to fit. One nuance I should point out is that insole patterns are flattened in all directions, removing the roll on the bottom of the shoe last, whereas outlines are essentially just unrolled along the shoe last length, removing heel height and toe spring to give the true length of the last. All outlines for 3D Shoemaker shoe lasts in PDF format can be found in a link I'll provide in the description for this video. They should be printed at 100% scale and the specified dimensions should be uh, double checked after printing to verify proper scaling. Note that larger sizes require legal size. Then the paper should be cut at the back line so that it can be butted up against a wall. Then the paper can be stood on with the back of the heel touching the wall. Ideally the entirety of the foot should fit in the outline and there should be ample toe allowance for all toes. This allowance is usually something around 15 millimeters for an average size, less for small sizes and more for larger sizes, but can vary for different types of footwear. If the fit doesn't appear good enough, simply print a new size and or width and try again. One other thing to check for is that the ball line of the foot should match up with that of the shoe last. If it doesn't match up, the solution is customized adjustments, which is something I'll cover in an upcoming video. I'll also get more into girths, instep heights, and the plantar shape of the foot too. If you're using the 3D Shoemaker plugin for Rhino 3D, you can create your own shoe last outlines by pressing the make button and then the go button on the flatten tab. This is also how insole patterns and flatten medial and lateral sides of the shoe last get created. Using shoe last outlines for shoe sizing is not the perfect solution. The fact is that both the foot and the shoe last are organic 3D shapes and their relative fit is extremely complex. And it's more than just a geometry problem. One also has to consider the properties of the foot, the intended use of the shoe, and the fit preferences of the individual. But using outlines gets us most of the way there and is considerably better than just using linear measurements. So whether you represent a shoe brand looking for a shoe last to manufacture on, or you are an individual hobbyist shoemaker trying to decide what shoe last or shoe model size to buy, I suggest making use of the 3D Shoemaker shoe last outlines. Also, if you are looking for the next level of fit testing, you might check out my recent post on 3D printable shoe mock-ups. This is particularly useful for those doing bespoke and orthopedic shoemaking. That's all for this 3D Shoemaker video. If you found it useful, please like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to receive notifications for future videos. Thanks for watching.